Hey everybody, I'm Chris Provost, and this video I'm gonna start a little bit different than normal because I'm feeling trepidation, I'm nervous, that's right. I'm gonna be going to one of the scariest haunts in the state of Utah all by myself, by my lonesome. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm driving down to what's called Evermore, and then on the, and Evermore is like a fantasy, like Dungeons and Dragons type theme park. I did a whole video about it, and now they're we're in October, they're doing these scary things in October called Lore, L-O-R-E, and it's only on uh, Fridays and Saturday nights. Tonight is the only night this month I can go. I'm busy almost every other night, and Amanda couldn't make it. She couldn't make it tonight, and Miles, this would be too scary for Miles to go. So I am going all by myself, and I'm gonna go have this experience, and I'm a little bit nervous about this. Before I get there, I kinda wanna recap about what it's like going to a haunted uh, house. When I was in junior high, seventh grade, I remember in seventh grade, I got invited to go to my very first ever uh, haunted mansion, haunted house. They let the junior high go. It was like on a Monday night. We got like half off and we went, I'd never been to one before. We get to this haunted house. We're going through it. And I get this little group and there's this girl and I can't even remember her first name, but I remember her last name. I think it was like Jensen or something. And she was with me in this group. I didn't know her. And we're going through this haunted house together. They're even a little seventh grader. I think it was like 12 years old. And I am terrified, but for whatever reason, I decided that I'm like, I have to act strong. I have to act like I don't care. Like I have to be tough. So I was trying to impress this girl, even though I really didn't know her. I felt like I had to do that to impress her. And that kind of became my MO for my junior high and, and uh, high school going to haunted houses. I'd always act tough. And a lot of times the scare workers would come out. I'd be like, ooh, like real scary. I was kind of, I was kind of a jerk, I think. And, but that's just what I thought you had to do of being a boy. Well, fast forward many years later, when I first got married to Amanda, Amanda used to help uh, companies with their social media. They wanted to have a big presence on social media. She like helped like the Utah Opera, the Utah Symphony, but one of her favorite clients was Fear Factory, this amazing haunted house. And so she was hired to help them out. She didn't know anything about horror. In fact, she hated horror back then. She dove right in, watched all these horror movies, and she learned to love it. And her shift at work, though, was like 6 o'clock at night to like 2 o'clock in the morning. And she would go and she would observe things and watch things and come up with ideas on how to uh, market uh, Fear Factory. By the way, when she was done at that season, Fear Factory had cracked the top 10 in the nation. She like crushed it. Side note. Anyways, one night she's like, hey, do you want to come down and work with me? And she's like, you can hang out with me. I'm like, can you do that? She's like, sure. So I went down. I was hanging out with the owners and Amanda. And Amanda was like watching all these cameras and watching all the, the people go through the haunted house. And you can see a bunch of teenage boys going through and they were doing exactly what I used to do. Acting all tough. Like, and they're like, and like the scared actors would come out. And they're like, Ugh. and I remember Amanda's like, Ugh. she's like, they're not man enough to be afraid. And I was like, wait, what is that? What, what, what do you mean by that? And she's like, oh, it's like boys, teenage boys particularly. They're, they're, they feel like they have to be so macho that they feel like if they're like scared that, you know, that they're like a wimp or something like that. So they act like they're not scared. She goes, it's mostly with teenage boys. They have to st act strong. She goes, they're not man enough to allow the fear to wash over them and just enjoy it. She goes, you know, they're paying for the event. They got actors that are trying to scare them. Just enjoy it. And after she said that, it like clicked. I was like, dink. I was like, Oh my gosh, whenever, from that moment on, every time I go to anything like a haunted event, I just let the fear like wash over me. I enjoy it. I love the actors who are trying to scare me. I appreciate the work that they're doing. I think it's amazing. And I get freaked out. So that's why I'm a little bit nervous about going to this uh, haunt all by myself because I'm going to get freaked out. But anyways, let's do this. I'm going to, um, we'll get there. We'll get to uh, Evermore. We'll turn the camera on and we're going to do this together. You and me. Going through a hunt together, just the two of us. Let's do this. All right, we are here. I got Evermore right behind me. I'm gonna go buy a ticket. We're gonna go in. Okay, guys, I just got my ticket, barely walked in. Let's check this all out. I don't even know what to expect. I don't even know. Okay, so here, this is the main area. And look, they got like these pumpkins here. Check these out. These are some huge pumpkins. Looks like they have a little stage here. I saw the train go around. And so they have haunt, they do have haunt characters. Oh, they have uh, walking around. So let's go see if we find some. This here is food, they get a bunch of food. So let's go through and check out the haunt. And they do, they have people who are, they've, they've dressed up and they're excited. And I'm just nervous. Look at all the little pumpkins on the ground. This is one of the most popular events here during Halloween. Everybody comes out to this. So I've been told all about it. 
never personally been here. Oh, it's a spider pumpkin. Never personally done it. So I'm gonna be learning about it just as much as you guys are. I think when it gets dark, it's gonna be scarier. The, the sun should be setting any time now. And I think that they like those little fires, which I might have to go get warm because it's already cold. All right, so we're gonna go here. This is like the, this looks like an apothecary, the elixirs, potions, and tonics. Well, that looks kind of fun. I wanna see what they are. Let's check it out. Yeah, uh, elixirs and potions and tonics, right? See, si. What do we have here? Well, it all depends on what you are looking for, eh? All so, right. Are you looking to earn the gold? The gold? No, no, not looking for gold. You're looking to spend the gold, eh? <laughs> yeah, I, can, I can help with either way, eh? <laughs> okay. So if you want to spend the gold, yes. I have some very special potions from the Gimbal and Sun Company, eh? Okay. So here's how it works, okay? You go to these to one of these shops in town. Sure. You, you, buy, you pay for the potion there with the real money. Okay. And then you bring me the receipt, and then I have potions for maybe uh, if you are having what we call uh, the technical term is boo-boos. And it hurts. <laughs> uh, I have the potions for those who are afraid. Oh, okay. And even better, I have the potions for those who are looking for the love. Okay, I want, so I, I go to the store, I buy it because I want bravery. Okay. And I come back here and I'll exchange that here for a bravery potion. See, si. which one's the bravery potion? Okay, this is the love. Love. This is the fear, and the blue is the bravery. Oh, okay. I, I thought I was like, I'm gonna buy that potion. I thought you had to drink it, but you don't drink. It. I guess you just carry it around. So, and I, I don't have my hands. I need. I have the hands, and I gotta do a little camera work. So I don't. I can't do that. And oh gosh, guys, it looks intense. Let's check this out, guys. It looks intense. In, intense. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little weird for me because I don't know like where she's walking to or what I should be seeing. So, can't, can't. <laughs> that sounds a little nefarious, but but a candy. <laughs> Trick or treat? Oh, right. Hey! Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take a. Uh, I'm gonna take nerds. Are you, you one of them? Oh yeah. Right. Hardcore. Thank you guys. Of course, thank you. All right, guys. I just found out this is done, and he is going to read my cards for me. And uh, is this like is this like the future, or is it just just general knowledge? Uh, touch a little bit on the past, present, and future. Past, present, and future. Okay. So one card for each of One card for each. It's a three card read. Indeed. Three card read. If you got a problem that you're kind of focusing on today, trying to figure something out, kind of pour that energy into the cards a little bit or... Okay. All right. Got it. Perfect. Okay. Now, is there a point that you'd like to focus on, past, present, or future, that you prefer? Let, well, I, I think everybody wants to focus on the future, but I prefer personally wanted to focus on the past. Wonderful. You like that? Yeah, all right, I like, yeah, let's focus so on So which one of these makes you the happiest for we should be happy with our past after all? This one. I love that. That feels, that feels like the happiest. First off, is the Nine of Crystals. Nine of Crystals. Yeah. Nine of Crystals brings a lot of semer uh, serenity and abundance, as it says on the card. Now, the spider in and of itself uh, can deal a lot with the past, like a lot of dark secrets. Spiders usually dwell in dark places. Okay. Um, there's a lot of uh, paths to be taken in life. Uh, the limbs of the spider, having many limbs and stuff, kind of yeah. present a lot of different paths for us. Uh, the spider also tells me that uh, there was a point in your past that you uh, kind of faced a really big fear of yours. Something yeah. that really changed your life and was kind of shattering for you. Flipped your life upside down in a sense. That's true. However, the spider always has its web. The web always tells us where to go. We hold on to that web and we kind of follow what happiness is able to bring us. Okay. Now, the past does not define who we are. You in and of yourself are bigger than anything else in this world. You are more important than anything. You mean more than any past choices or decisions that you've ever gone through. You've got one of the most beautiful energies that I've ever come across. Oh, thank you so much. And it really shows about. You've gone through what people would call hell. Yeah. You really have. And for that, I'm sorry because a wonderful individual like yourself would never have you're, to experience those hardships. You're very kind, thank you. So, going into your present time right now, is the kangaroo, the two of crystals, bringing some balance into your life. Yes. So this uh, past might not have fully come to land on its feet yet, and you might still be feeling a bit shaken up, especially in the past little while with everything going on in the world. Yeah. However, the kangaroo always carries what it needs in its little pouch. 
Okay, I like that. As its family with it. And that's the present, right? right Indeed, now? yes. Okay. A little okay. bit that your heart speaks to you. Okay. That's going to lead you down a very, very abundant path right now. And it's going to be able to give you that adaptability that you might be looking for in your life right now. Future. This is one everyone wants. I think it's what people are most interested in, right? They want Indeed, another future. Yes. yes. They want to have a good future. Interesting. The future okay. is what we always make of it, though. That's Interesting. What always I'm more interested in the for. past and the present. The future. The future is where we get to look to. Being guided by the page of feathers, the raccoon. I love that. <laughs> Exploration and discovery. I like that too. I like that too. Every day might not be a good day, but you can find something good about every day if you take a moment to look. All right. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. So maybe take a moment and see what you can find good about tonight. Huh? All right. Thank you very Some much. Happy fairy lights. Maybe. Thank you. Now I just got my cards read, and I've you know there's some people who are like like. Some people are like, oh, you should never do that. And other people are like, I just feel like it's just a fun way to kind of channel a little bit of your energy and just see kind of what happens. And just, it is what it is, right? But uh, yeah. All right, guys, now we're gonna go in and look, I can see the whole, they have, looks like a little Renaissance fair. Behind me, that's like a, a tomb. I'm gonna wait for it to get a little darker. Let's get all the fear juices going and let's take a look at this, uh, what we have on over here. Look at that giant spider. <laughs> Made out of lights, it's got little fangs on it. <laughs> oh look, there's the moon right up there. Let's take check it out. Goblins and dragons and bums, oh my. <laughs> I love it. Steampunk Renaissance fantasy accessories. Okay, we're going on this way. We're kind of taking a look over here. That's where they have a sparring area. I came here before and Miles and I sparred. That was a lot of fun. That's where they do the bow and arrow over here. I don't know what's over here and what we're looking for. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. If you guys, this is the, I think it's the Penny Whistle Inn. And look, oh, they have hot chocolate. If you want to go get some hot chocolate right over there. Let's go to the Penny Whistle Inn. I wonder if it's open. No, no, it might be closed. For, for Halloween, they open and close things, so. The, oh, it's the Pygmy Weed Inn, not the Penny Whistle, the Pygmy Weed Inn. I think it's closed. It might be turned into a hunt. It's blocked off, so I must be doing something with it. But look at this. Look at this. I feel like it's going to reach out and grab me. Um, it's a tree with all those limbs. Oh, and it's, a, it's, like, a, it's like a throne to sit in. Ha, ha, ha. Da, da, da. So it shall be written, so it shall be done. You guys, I just learned something crazy here about um, Evermore. So it's like a play, but it, it, it takes, it doesn't just like end in one night, it goes all the time. So this season, what it is, it's about this evil tree or root that has been planted, okay? It's been planted and every time that you come down here, every weekend you come down here, there's more and more vines. It's overtaking all of Evermore and that's what this is, this is part of it. So every night that you come down here, they have more and more vines so i just learned that story oh my gosh how cool is that i love it like every night they plant more evil vines and they go throughout the whole area here and evermore <laughs> i love that that might be why it's green do you see how it's green underneath this building i bet you it's because it's the evil of the vines let's see let's go take a look here Oh, it's like a bullseye. There's green here. Let's walk up there, guys. I don't know what it is. Let's discover it together. Let's walk down here, walk across this little trail, and walk up here to the building. Okay, so we're going in to this building here and checking it all out. Let's see what it is. Oh, it looks like it's a potions. This is, look like it's like potions and look at the lights are going. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> There's scrolls and maps. Look at all this. There's like over here. There's a lantern. I love that. I think that's really cool. But I think the green is significant. I think that's because maybe it's being taken over by an evil. The town of Evermore is being taken over. 
e over by evil vines. That's what I'm assuming. Nobody's told me that. I'm just making that story up in my mind, but I like it. Okay, 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 look, 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 look. Look, there's more vines here in the corner. Look at the, all the vines. And then look down here. There's a box. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, look. That's something captured in this box. And right in the center is this, I don't know what it is. Like a, is that a tombstone? And it's got some weird cryptic writing on it. I'm sure there's a cipher for it, but I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, maybe somebody could pause it and they could, they could figure it out and let me know what that says. Now we're outside the building, but check it out. It's like thatched, like on the side and the roof all the way up there. Now I'm on the, the hunt and look for like vines. And this is kind of gives us a nice little vantage point because this overlooks Evermore. This, this is the whole, oh look, the moon. And then Evermore Park over here. And I think the green, I'm assuming green is more vines. That's probably where they're sprouting. Let's go on a hunt for more vines. Let's see if we can find them and see if there's a way to defeat them. I wonder if there is. Maybe we don't even need to defeat them. Maybe that's, maybe they might end up growing and sprouting something benevolent. I don't know. People who work here, they have green necklaces. So if you see anybody with a green necklace, you can go up to them and they'll give us more to the story. So that's what I'm gonna look for. All right, so I came in here and like, this is kind of like a mausoleum. Look, what do you see right in the center? Green vines, more. There's like a, uh, pumpkins on the vines are growing. Maybe, maybe, they're, maybe those are good ones, I don't know. Get a little fireplace over here. <laughs> and you, like, you can look around and see. And they have people who you could talk to and they will kind of help you with their story. All right, so you look like a distinguished gentleman. I do, that's because I am, sir. <laughs> you are, you yes, are. Yes, indeed. All right, so what is your name? Zane Harlow. Zane Harlow. I'm surprised you don't know me already, sir. I'm quite famous. Oh, you are? Yes, quite famous. Oh, indeed. obvious. Indubitably. Indubitably, yes, indeed. <laughs> Wonderful I'm, I'm work. So I noticed because I saw that you had the green necklace. I was that told that true. you know, uh, the people with the green necklaces know so much about this place. Oh. Most things. Most. So what I've been told, if you can deny or confirm, yes. is that there are vines and they're growing throughout mm, Evermore. Yes. And every time they come, there are more and more vines. Are they good vines or bad vines? Do we know? That depends on your point of view, sir. Oh, no. I like to keep a neutral mindset when it comes to the natural order of things. So I have yet to determine whether or not this is evil or good. I don't think nature can be either one. Oh, that's, well, that's a very good point of view. That's a very, I like that a lot. Mm. Well, thank you so much. Yes, of course. What, is there anything I should be looking out on the lookout for or doing? For... Many people will tell you there are frightening creatures wandering about. Oh, no. I would ask that you abandon the instinct to be frightened and instead try to befriend these creatures. Befriend them? Yes, there's life in them, after all. We have something to learn from life. Oh. We? Well, thank you so much, Zane Harlow. That's correct. Thank I am you. famous. <laughs> the sun is starting to set, guys. And look, there's fires all over the place. Um, so, and let's just go through here. He said to try to befriend the creatures so this is what zane harlow suggested and i'm going to look over here and you, now you can start seeing the um pumpkins they're starting to really glow and <laughs> let's go over here let's see what we see it's kind of fun i wish amanda was here with me i'll have to see if we can come back and just explore together oh man so many people are dressed up guys it looks amazing i wish we were, oh look it's like an explorer i gotta go over there I don't even know how to get over there. Look at this. <laughs> Look at all these pumpkins. I love it. Okay. I think this is the way that we go. Oh. Look, that, that way looks tempting, but I want to go this way. Let's go this way first. All right. Look, we, I see. It looks like a. Uh, it looks like, like an adventurer. Oh, uh, yeah, yes. Uh, I am. And this is the base, and I am a member of. The, of Squawk, the Society of Quite Unusually Astute Wizards of Knowledge. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Squawk? Yes, Squawk, the Society of Quite Unusually Astute Wizards of Knowledge. <laughs> Guys, I love it. Yes. Uh, what is your name? Oh, sorry. My That's name is Arnold Montpellier, but you can call me Monty. Monty. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this. Yes. This is this is the home base. Yes. Of Squawk. Yes. There's usually other members of us here, but everyone has been kind of called away for different reasons. Oh my but gosh. Yes. yes. Monty, mind if I pull up a chair and we could talk about some oh. anomalies that I've heard about? Oh yes, of course. Let's yes. do this. Yes, do that. Okay, Monty. Yes. I what I've been told is that there's a vine going around. A vine. Yeah, like a, like a green vine, and it's overtaking all of Evermore. Is that 
You ever heard about this? Like a single vine. Well, I don't know if it's a single vine or if it's multiple vines or if it's an entity. I don't know if it's good or if it's bad, but I've been told that every day it gets bigger and more powerful. Oh, if we, I mean, there's there's a plant that's in plant. the pygmy weed in. Yes, there. yes. Oh yeah, that's bad business. I don't know about myself that much. That's not really our area ex expertise here. We, we're ghost researchers. Deal with ghosts? Yes. Not the, not the vine. No, not the vine, but it's, it's interesting, you see. Uh, that it, it, it's bad. I don't like it. You know, it's a big, it's a big plant. Of course, uh, <laughs> a big plant from Mythos or whatever they tell me. Oh. But I mean, <sighs> but what is it? The now, mayor likes it. He he wants it around. And who's and the mayor? Mayor Schreiber. Oh, Doctor Schreiber. Uh, he works up there in the, in Drakenhaven. In that not this building, but there's that building behind it. That's called and he's Drakenhaven. the mayor. He's the mayor. Yes. I should go talk to the mayor. You probably should, yeah. But he wants to keep the plant around, and it's a whole thing. I don't like it very much myself, not at all. But, you know, he's a smart man. He's an intellectual like us, and he knows what he's doing, so I don't know. But I feel like you have very good instincts, though. I, I, I'd like to think so, you know. <laughs> I've lived my life. What, what's the mayor's name again? Uh, Dr. Schreiber. Dr. Schreiber? Yes. Schreiber? Schreiber, I think. Okay, I'm gonna go find Dr. Schreiber and we're gonna ask him about the plant. Yeah, do that. He's probably the most knowledgeable. Definitely talk to Dr. Schreiber because he's All the right. one researching it. Let's go to see, let's go yeah. see Dr. Schreiber then. Oh. Thank you. No problem. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. I feel like I've gotta like, I've gotta develop some type of personality, um, or persona, if you will, why I'm here. So let's do this together. My persona is I, I wanna be Nigel Hawthorne. No, just Nigel. I don't have a last name, not, not Hawthorne. Just plain old Nigel. And I think that's where the mayor is. And we were in there. I didn't see the mayor last time, so let's go there and see if we can see the mayor. The mayor. And I am now gonna be known as Nigel. Nigel the Do-Gooder. That's my name, Nigel the Do-Gooder. Okay, we're gonna go up here. I think this is where the mayor is, if I understood him correctly. And we can maybe get a little more info on the green plant. Oh my gosh, I didn't know this is the first time. Check out these bones. Whoa. What is your name? My name yes. is Mayor Schroeder. I was told to meet with you. Well, you can also yes. call me Dr. Schroeder. Oh, well, hello, Dr. Schroeder. S I am Nigel the Do-Gooder. Nigel the do that is a bit on the nose. Is it? Is it? Okay. It is. I have to ask you because I've been told ah. there's a plant growing around here in Evermore. And some people said it's a good plant, and some people said it's an evil plant, but I was told that you are the expert of the plant. I am I am an expert in all the plants. One okay. of my many doctorates is in the botany. Is in botany. The botany, yeah. <laughs> Okay. And I am here solely because of this plant. Really? To A, yeah. to protect this town from it. Okay. And B, to learn from it. Okay. It is unique. Yes. It, in its own way, beautiful. We must harness yes. its power. I'm worried that it won't leave me alone. <laughs> you you must think about changing your name. Come along, I will show you. Okay, show, show me. me, show me. This plant, as you can see, yes. has begun to burst through my floor. Oh my gosh. Into my office. It is. And observe the way it grows. Okay. Reaching out for my box of trapped human souls. The box of trapped human souls. It wants the box. That is my belief, my working theory. The working theory. Why? That remains to be seen. I have other theories, but I won't speak out of class uh, until they are more concrete. I like that theory. I like the theory a lot. So, and it, does it grow fast? It grows fast. Here is the, the trick yet. Yeah. It seems when it wants to. Really? It can creep. Yes. But also, when yes. I moved my box of souls, yeah. it grew far faster than I have seen. Really? Ah. So it does probably want the box of souls. That, that is like Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you. Ah, thank I'm gonna be, you. I'm gonna be walking around, looking around. I, I noticed, also, is there a cipher where we can learn how to decode ah, your... Yeah. I can tell you now. This oh, you can. It's actually Shadow Speak. Shadow Speak. It is the original tongue of the vampires. Wow, okay. It translates loosely. It is not an exact one-to-one. -one, yeah. But loosely to the English alphabet. Oh, okay. You can interpret the runes here that you may find around the town to see the secret messages. Okay. And on this side, 
Yes. This is ancient Evermorian. Evermorian. The town of the original inhabitants of Ever. Well, the second inhabitants of the Evermore, after the bunnies. The, the bunnies? The bunnies were first. <laughs> Always the bunnies. But this similarly yes. translates roughly to the English alphabet. Okay. Many people take the pictographs. Yes. And try to determine what is written in the town. Okay, well, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. And only for the one bad pun. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. it was an okay pun. <laughs> eh. All right, so what do we know? We know the plant wants souls, and so we think. Um, and also, by the way, just so you know, if you have little ones, they do have trick or treating, little trick or treating areas. You can go and they get candy and trick or treat and, and all that. So that's kind of fun too. But now I feel like Nigel's on a quest. Let us find out more about the plant. And we haven't even gotten to the scariest area yet. I'm kind of saving that for later because I know I'm going to freak out. But let's do this. I, wait, wait a minute. Have you liked this video yet? Okay. All right. Good. Glad. Glad you've done that. Let's continue on. Oh, little train behind me. Hope you guys are having fun. Let's continue. All right. So we're going to go back to this area here. This is the coven. This, this is where the, uh, uh, the, the guy, the professor of Squawk said the coven was. So let's go in here and talk to them. All right. Well, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the Count of Gruens of Evermore. Oh my gosh. I've been, I was here and I'm on a little bit of a quest. Oh, excellent. So, I was going along and somebody told me about these vines that are growing throughout Evermore. Yes. I'm trying to kind of deduce what do they want, are they good or are they bad, and somebody told me to come over here to the, to the coven. Yes. And, you're part, and what's, what's your name? My name is Seamus Kelly. Hi Seamus. Enchanter extraordinaire. Oh, I am Nigel the do-gooder. Nigel, a pleasure. Thank you so much. So. so yes, questions about the vines. Yes. So we were invited here by the mayor who's up in Drakenhaven. I met him. He seemed... I mean, he's very nice, but I mean, is he a good person? Well, he's in charge. <laughs> okay, that's all I need to know. He <laughs> said he thinks the vines are trying to get his box of souls. Yes. Yes. Very interesting. Yes, very interesting. I so. see. My specialty with magic has to do with the soul. Oh, does it really? The will, the mind. That's oh, I like that. Yes. I like that. We call it animancy. Animancy? Yes. Has okay. to do with the animus. You oh, okay. Excellent. Excellent. So, now the thing is, you have to understand about souls. Souls. Yes our energy yes they're the literal driving force of life i believe that so the souls that he has in there yes the vines which have proven to be intelligent yes are reaching for energy oh power okay they're trying to grow more okay you see we've kept them mostly confined back inside of the haunt back there. i saw that is it that was the the penny the penny pick me weed pick me weed yes. thank you so the pick me weed in thank and you so we, we've taken the call in the vines the, the pick me weed the pig oh i get it yes. i just got it that's very good thank you and you have, to, have to sh you have to show us your whole outfit oh yes you look you look you look very dapper now for people who've never been to evermore this is the very first time like oh, yes. they're watching this so this is like fantasy oh oh no don't lose, don't we don't lose that this is fantasy extraordinaire absolutely absolutely and they can see anybody who's got a green necklace they can talk to and they can learn a little bit about more about the story of what's going on yes they okay can. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Thank you so much. Indeed. Bye bye. If you'd like to join the oh. coven, you can come by and talk to us later. To join the coven? Yes, this is one of the three guilds or groups that you can join here. Whoa, How, there are three guilds? Yes, there are. The Coven. Yes. There's also the Black Heart Hunters, the Monster Hunters. Okay. And then the Adventurers. Okay. Now they call themselves Squawk. Oh, I saw. I met Squawk. Yes. Where's the Black Heart? So they're by the train station. Oh, by the train station. Yes. So next we to where the, the stocks where they like to keep. What do you people. have to do to, in order to join a guild? That each guild requires three tasks. Okay. You complete those, and then every hour upon the hour, we host initiations. Okay. All right. All right, so I can choose which guild I want. Oh, you can join all the guilds if you like. Oh, oh why limit yourself? Oh, so, indeed. All right, thank you so much. Travel well. Bye. Bye. There's the guild, the black heart who hunt monsters. That's kind of what I feel like I, Nigel would do. Nigel would be drawn to that because Nigel wants to do good. I'm talking about myself in the third person. I understand that, but you guys, just go with it. Let's just go with it. Let's go find the black hearts. I honestly didn't even understand that. Now there, there's guilds you can join. Um, there's the explorers of Squawk, who we met, and then there's the um, the Coven, and then the Blackheart. So we could we could join any of these guilds. So you could join all of them. How fun is that? Well, hello. Hello. We're at Mystics of Evermore. Yes. 
And what is what is your name? My name's Margaret Walt. Margaret Walt. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. So tell us a little bit about here about the Mystics of Evermore. Well, the Mystics of Evermore. We came here just a, well about a month ago okay. when the Port of the Lore opened. Yes. Uh, we've been here. We do readings of all kinds. I okay. read runes to peer into the future and tug apart the threads of fate. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So the the Portal of Lore has brought you guys here, and you are now reading runes and let people know what's going on. I like this. Yeah, it's truly. So what I was told, I was sent on a quest. She says if I could find a trinket and bring it back a trinket, I can exchange my trinket to get my runes read. Your runes read, I'll peer into the future and untangle the threads of fate. Oh, I love that. Okay, I gotta find a trinket. All right, thank you. <laughs> I have no idea how to find a trinket. Uh, this is awesome. Okay, now, you guys, I'm getting distracted. I gotta find a trinket. I gotta find the black hearts. I gotta go to the scary part. There's too much to do. Too much to do. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they're burning a witch, guys. They're burning a witch! Witch! I'm not a witch, I'm your wife. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. This might be, because I remember he said that the black hearts by the train station. So maybe this is it over here, or maybe it's over there. I'm not exactly sure. Let's check it out. So here, they, we're, this, I just found, so you, this is the black hearts, right? Mm -hmm. You said the most charismatic and yes. amazing group? Oh, great. Maybe it's just me, you know. I, uh, I do ideal myself to be okay, quite so gorgeous. There is th I've been told there are three guilds. Mm. There's the coven. Yes. There's the adventurers. Yes, the squawky people. The squawky. Oh, the, the squawkers. The squawk. The squawk. Very strange. Okay, and you're the, are you guys are the black hearts? Yes. And what are the, what's the black hearts? Oh, we're monster hunters. Oh, I like that. Yes, we make sure everything in town is... Fairly normal. Fairly normal. And what's your name? My name is Samuel Thunder. Samuel Thunder. I'm I'm Nigel the True. Actually, I was Nigel the Good, but now I'm switching to Nigel the True. True. Yeah. Fine by me. You know, you so, can tell you can tell me how gorgeous I am. Oh, you look amazing. Oh, I love this. You. Look at this. Thank you. So what we have to do is go on some quests, and then we get initiated to be a black heart. Yes. Okay. Yes. We're actually about to start initiation right now, I believe. What kind of quests do you do to get in, to go to initiation? Well, we got to make sure you're kind of capable. You know? Oh, that's a little bit. I mean, obviously. we we could use the cannon fodder. Too, but you know, no. it's, it's it's better to Definitely. be a little capable. Is the is it true that the Black Hearts are the best guild? Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> just wanted just wanted to make sure. All right, thank you. Okay, so that is the the Black Hearts, and they're just about to do an initiation for people who are just have gone on a quest and completed it. And I haven't completed a quest, so I can't go to initiation. But that is what's going on there. How cool is that? I love it. Uh, and I also feel that I am Nigel the True, not Nigel the Do-Gooder. I think I've, it just changed. I was like sitting there talking, and all of a sudden it hit me, and I'm like, I'm Nigel the True. So that's who I am, Nigel the True. All right, guys, this I just met. This is Shrugs, the magician, and he's going to be performing. You're going to be performing in the, in the tent. I'm going to come over. I'm going to watch your show. When, when is your show? 8.15 and 8 15 after every hour. Every, yes. And you also, just so you know, people won't know this. They won't understand in this realm. But in the other realm, you performed at Fan X as well as a magician. That's right, as Jason Fun. All right, Jason. Uh, I will, shrugs, Jason. Whichever realm we're in, we'll come over and watch your magic show in just a few moments. Excellent. All right. Excellent. Thank you. If I didn't go right now, I would forget about the magic show, and I don't want to forget about it, so I'm going to go right now. That makes sense. Nigel the True is now going to the magic show. Oh my gosh, the wind just blew that open, and I'm the only one. It literally, like, it literally, like, opened for me. Welcome to the circus at Evermore. Woo! They uh, try to deceive you with trickery. What they will do, they appear to put a handkerchief in their hand just like so. Of the silkworm of Indiana. They take the magic wand and then they... <laughs> I love stuff like this. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. The magic wand, which does absolutely nothing. And we... <sighs> My apologies, ladies and gentlemen, and so we shall see if we can do this again. You see, we shall put it inside. And then we grab. Oh. <laughs> I will not take my eye. Ladies and gentlemen. He was great. He was fun. This is like the circus of the weird, and they're continuing on now with this. That magician was great. Loved him.
guys, I gotta go check this out up here. Look at this statue. All right, guys, we haven't even gotten into the spooky thing. Look at the moon. Spooky thing, I think it's pronounced mausoleum. Look, look at that. Look at that statue. So I think it's a depiction of good overcoming evil. It looks like it's like a devil with horns, an angel. I don't know, is evil, you know, what's going on there? I mean, how do we know that that's the bad guy, the good guy? I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, guys, I am going to go down here and go through the haunt. I know it's going to scare the heck out of me, but we're going to do it. We're going to go through the haunt. <laughs> Let's go do a haunt together. We can do this together. Let's be brave. Be brave. There is a line to get into the haunt, so we're going to wait in line. A little creepy. You see the skull? Okay guys, I'm about to do the haunt. It is an additional cost and we're gonna go in and do this haunt and we'll see how it we'll see how it is. I hope it turns out well. I the filming is gonna be really hard for me to do. I'll try my best to film the best that I can. Alright, we're gonna go in here. I was told we we're supposed to be looking for green glowing buttons. That the doctor is putting green glowing buttons and that's what we're looking for here. Well, hello, hello. I was told we we're looking for green glowing yes. buttons. There's tons yeah. of them out in the floor, it seems so. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Oh, it's your Save heart. Big, yes, it's glowing. It oh has uranium 242 in it. <laughs> the doctor made it when he was seven. Did you know that? No, I did not. Well, you're in luck. All you have to do is find my green buttons, activate the straps, save your skin, and help with the research to save evermore. Okay, let's do this. All right, we're, we're going on. We're looking for green glowing buttons. I am terrified. I'm all by my lumps. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I, this thing's just freak me out. Okay, we're moving on. Okay, oh, look at that. I saw that. <laughs> oh! Jeez, Louise. I apologize, guys. I'm gonna try. I get so jumpy in these things, and I just so I don't. I, and I talk. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's just why we're doing for, uh, Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's right behind us. Okay. Green glowing buttons. Whoa. Uh oh. The power just went over the bridge that we're going over. Okay. It's it's. Oh. Jeez, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys. Turn the volume down because I, I get startled so easy. Okay. This looks ominous. The bridge came back on. Okay. There's no power over here. Uh oh. Shoot, I hate these things. I love it, but I hate it. You know what I'm talking about? It's like, oh jeez. Moving on. Okay. Oh, that looks very menacing. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Remember, we're looking for green. There's a green glowing button. Okay. Looking over here. Oh, geez. It's making sure that it's not following me. Okay. These are the traps. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Push the green glowing button. We lowered it down. Oh my god. It scared the heck out of me. Oh wait a minute, there's some green well. Oh there's a green glowing button in that. We're moving on. Okay. Jeez Louise guys. <laughs> I need Amanda here with me. She loves this stuff so much. I don't know why I got sent here to do this alone. She should be here with me. Okay. Moving on. Gonna, that's where I think we ultimately are going to end up right there. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Dang it! It was amazing. The guy just totally scared the crap out of me. Dang it, guys. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, I am so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. I just ran into the guy who was trying to scare me. I bumped into him. Here we go. Oh, jeez, Louise. Okay, guys, we're doing this. 
I'm gonna give a buffer, see the people there. When you go through a haunted house, it's important to have that buffer because you don't want, oh, there is a person. You don't want uh, the people getting all the scares right in front of you. So we're gonna wait here. We're gonna get a little bit of a buffer. Looks like it's the caretaker. button down here. See, but they have webs hanging down like fishing line and it's touching your face. It's the worst. Oh my gosh! Darn it. <laughs> oh, good grief. Yep. All right. All right. Okay. Oh, it felt good to be outside again. That was, that was ominous. Gosh, you guys. Oh, look how cool it looks. It's Evermore. That's just over there. It looks amazing. I met a guy here that's from North Carolina. I think his name is Clay. And uh, he saw my video on Evermore and he's here on a trip. So I thought he'd stop by. So I actually wanted to run in to see him again, but I haven't seen him. This place is pretty big. Okay, okay. Come on, oh darn it. <laughs> okay, okay, whoa. It's very nimble. Oh, jeez! I hate that. I hate it. <laughs> right there, right there. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go through a pathway. We're going into, I don't think I've ever been to upstairs. Okay. So, oh, there they are. Oh, jeez! <laughs> but it looks like he's in pain. Okay. Oh. If you want to just fast forward, you can. I apologize. I'm not, I'm not good at these things. Okay. Gosh. I just... Like, I always think they're gonna be like hiding around a corner. 
Always a slug. Always a slug. Okay, I think we made it out. Phew, that was intense. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, my heart, it's like these things, you're like, gah, gah, gah. You're having like, it's, it's so fun though. This is the whole point of it. A haunt is to have, be scared and have fun. That's the whole point, so. Ooh, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this statue. And then you come ah! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Shoot, I am so sorry. Turn your speakers down, guys. There's a lot of fog and I can't see. This is awesome. Okay. I can't even see where to go. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> okay, we're going through a graveyard. Oh my gosh, my heart. Oh, there's an angel or that looks ominous. Oh, caskets, coffins. Oh, okay. Uh, I heard baby sounds and we're in the graveyard. Oh, jeez. It's moving on, I'm moving faster. I think we get a little reprieve. Okay. Just so you know, don't stop. It just encourages them, all right? And if you turn into a ghost, you come back and talk to me. Oh, my gosh. You gave me the worst advice. What do you, you mean? You told me to go meet the doctor, and I think yeah. he set up the whole thing. What? Well, yeah, what? What do you mean set up the whole thing? It's all of the scares. It's, it's the doctors' his little experiments and stuff, pushing the green buttons. Yeah. It's been terrible. Yeah, oh my gosh. People. Yeah. It's just scaring the heck yeah, out of me. I don't know why you agree. You have I, don't I don't know. I know. I know. This isn't a lie. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh. You can, can you hear the sounds, guys? Okay. Okay. I got my neck is all tense, my shoulders are all tense, and I'm like, just like, okay, okay. Oh, shoot! It's, oh, it's a werewolf. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, it's an outhouse. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, okay, bright lights, guys, for those who are watching. Oh, there's a. I'm looking down at the road, I'm not looking. We're just gonna walk right in. Okay, no, not looking. <laughs> Just walking through. Oh, okay. It's the, um, I, I can't remember. It's the something weed. I, I wanted to call it the piggy weed, but I know it's not. It's the, ah, oh, shoot. This is where the weed is. And this is where it's taken over everything. Oh my gosh, did you just see that? That was terrifying. Oh, good grief. behind me, <laughs> behind me. <laughs> that was terrible, oh, this is awful. This is terrible. There's like all these um, ghosts, shoot. I'm literally, oh geez. Oh my gosh. There's a shadow right there. You see that on that table? Oh my gosh, there's another one! I'm looking at the white ghost. There's a white ghost. There's a, the shadows. Good grief. Oh, jeez. Oh, Look at the wheat. Look at the vine. Oh, no, no! Hurry, go! You must just I'm going, I'm going, I'm going! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Man, oh man, the pygmy weed. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was awesome. Oh my god. Oh, guys, I don't even know. I, that was an extra added expense if you want to come do that. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. It'd be fun to go through with your significant other, get scared together, and I need to find trinkets. And I'm almost all like spooked out. Ooh. Look at that. I'm so jumpy, I saw like these llamas that made me nervous. <laughs> Hi! You want me to get you a treat? Let me get you a treat. Yeah, 
seat right there for you. There you go. There you go. The last time we were here, we told her they liked that clover. So they're not scary. You're just a little fuzzball. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> oh my gosh. This place is fun. I'm having a good time. Whew, my heart is going, feeling good. I'm gonna go check out the front. And uh, you guys, that's, thank you so much for joining me on today's video. It's a lot of fun. I hope you had fun with me here at Evermore. This is located in uh, Pleasant Grove, Utah. Yeah, it's kind of fun to come down here and check it out. Look at all the pumpkins. They're looking good. Oh my gosh, you had a good time. Thank you. Good to hear. We made it out alive. Look at, I mean, this looks cool, huh? And now I want to go into, I have to show you something though. While I was waiting here in line, this is the line we get in for the haunt. I did notice something. In the fire, there was a skull burning in the fire. I just want to show it to you. It's right there burning fire, it's super cool. Oh. Do you hear all that in the trees? Good grief, guys. This is like the, this is like the sweet shop. You come in there, they get hot chocolate and drinks in there. Copper confectionery. Copper confection. Now I'm gonna take you right to the front. Let's take a look at it. And this is back to the entrance, guys. Look at this, look at the eeriness. Pumpkin King is up there, I guess. And looks so good. Oh, look. I love it. They only do this lore during October. It's just starting. It's only on weekends on Fridays and Saturdays, guys. Oh, look at those pumpkins going through the, going through the fog. I just think it's cool. Look at that. Whoa. There they are. You sit there and get warm. That's really cool. Okay, so here's the thing. Thank you so much for joining me here at uh, Evermore. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been a lot of fun. It's uh, something we don't normally do, but I like it. And people saw the one video we did and people loved it. So I thought I'd do a little bit more. I love this place. It's super fun. I need to bring Amanda back and have her come with me so we could kind of spend some time down here together because this is like her jam completely. If you could, I really appreciate it. If you could hit that subscribe button and then hit that like button on this video. That it goes a long way to help support our channel and I appreciate that. So thank you so much. And by the way, if I haven't really told you yet, I want you to know how amazing you are. You are awesome. You are wonderful and you make the world a better place. I'm talking to you. I really am. And you make the world a better place. Don't you forget it. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.